Hey, this is Nate from Alesis. We are at Winter Nam 2014 with Sonic State, and I want to show you our new Core Series recording interfaces. Now, there are three in the series, and we're going to start with the Core 1. So, the Core 1 is a 1 in, 2 out, 24 48 aluminum housed inline interface. So, as you can see on the front here, we have an XLR and quarter inch input. And if we spin this around, on the rear panel, you can see that our stereo out is over USB mini, so this works great with Apple's camera connection kit or can go straight into your desktop PC. Uh, also, we have a uh, headphone output with its own volume control, your input gain, and a line guitar switch. Uh, again, aluminum housing, 2448. Uh, in the US, it's going to be $49 street price. So, uh, next up is the Core 2, and this is our two in, two out. Premium 2496 USB 2.0 solution. Core 1 is USB 1.0 class compliant, but Core 2 is a USB 2.0, so that guarantees us the lowest latency possible and the highest audio quality possible. It is again aluminum house, so on the front you have XLR and quarter inch jacks, line guitar switches on each channel with their own gain control, headphone output with a mono stereo switch and a mix knob for direct versus USB monitoring, the headphone volume and the main level volume. I'll flip this one around for you as well because there's some unique things going on in the back panel. We of course have our left and right output, our five pin DIN, MIDI out and MIDI in. We have USB for USB bus power or of course connection to your computer. But we also give you the option for a power supply that we include because there is, as you saw, a powered USB hub with two powered hubs on the back of Core 2. So when you're recording on a laptop or any other device and you run out of those powered hubs on your computer, we put them right on the interface for you. And of course, you need the power supply for that, and that's why you have the option. No performance difference with bus power versus power supply, but those USB hubs are accessed that way. We also have full phantom power on board. Oh, cool. Is it like an update of the last larger format uh, uh, interfaces that you did? Yeah, you know, with the Core series, these were actually ground up for us. Uh, in other words, this was uh, engineering from the ground up, completely new solutions. Uh, our USB 2.0 solution is, uh, is, is new, it's excellent, it's actually shared with M-Audio, so all of our updates are going to be done at the same time for all of our users. And uh, uh, much nicer mic freeze, uh, much lower noise, you know, these are really uh, high quality pieces. We're all pretty right, excited. So you've been sharing sort of driver, drivers. Uh, drive yeah, drive. which is important because, uh, you know, of course, we're under this same umbrella now. Uh, we want to make sure our drivers get done quickly, they get done, uh, you know, uh, on time for our users. So we're going to do our best to share resources and, and be much better with that. And we got a big guy over here, too. Yeah, you got it. So the last one in the series is the Alesis Core 8. So it is a 2U rack mount where everything is on the front panel. Uh, we have eight inputs that are XLR quarter inch combos, gain controls on each channel, and clip indicators on each channel. On channel seven and eight, we have line guitar switches. We have our VU LEDs and our indicators for power USB and phantom. Our phantom is split across channel one through four and channel five through eight. We have two separate headphone outputs, and those are going to receive the same signal, but they do have their own uh, volume controls. We have our master volume and, of course, our direct versus USB monitoring. Uh, so Core 8 is 2496. It is USB 2.0, so you're getting eight discrete channels over USB. Nice mic breeze. And I'm going to spin this around for you. So the back panel is very simple by design. Now, we have our power input, our power switch, our USB 2.0 for those eight discrete channels, main out, left and right. And this is an eight in, four out interface. And the monitor out one, two, three, and four you saw are basically assignable within your dog. 2496, eight channels, 299 US street price. And I should mention core two, which I didn't give you pricing on, is 149 street. So core one, 49 bucks. Core two, 149. Core eight is 299, eight channels. That's the core series from Alesis.